Okay, omnes, I'm going to be going over our notes about indirect questions. And this is another set of subjunctive clauses we're going to be learning. We're going to learn a total of four. This is number two, so we're about halfway through. We were reading uh, this story, Escapator Britannicus, uh, the, um, uh, the British spy. Got mules. You went on the quiz asset. The soldier asked the young man again. Quiz who Eset was, and that's who he was. Then the soldier explained, Quomodo, soldier, how, the young, how he caught the young man, how he had caught. Eset and Capiset are subjunctive verbs. These subjunctive verbs do not follow the word cum like we saw before, a when. Instead, they follow these kind of question words like who or how, quomodo, quiz. That's because these subjunctives are used in something called an indirect question. Indirect questions are a type of clause and it's a subordinate clause like cum clauses where they're not main clauses they're dependent subordinate clauses are used to describe a situation in the past or potentially in the present when a question was asked but may or may not have been answered so example how he had caught the young man you're explaining how it's a question word but without a question mark at the end and a subjunctive that's pretty much what it is and i'll type that up here um, Nice, easy way to remember. A question word followed by the subjunctive without a question mark. Typically, indirect questions will use these question words to introduce the subjunctive. Cur, which is why. Quid, which is what. Quiz, who, quo, where, or how. I'll just put how. When, quando, ubi, where, and quomodo, how, or slash, in what way. The dependent clause, which is, or the independent clause, excuse me, not the dependent. This is an independent clause because they are the main clause. The main clause before the indirect question usually uses these verbs. And I'm going to put them in English. Our job is to know these ones, recognize understand, ask, seek, uh, oh, words like mm, to learn, uh, recognize, understand, not know is also another one, learn, seek. Um, yeah, I think we saw those here. He explain, oh, to say, all those words, explain, say. I like to think of these as what I like to call, and I'm going to put this in a little asterisk, head verbs. In other words, uh, actions that take place from your head. Like you know something, you recognize something, you understand something. You ask, you're speaking it, you seek it. In other words, you're asking for, learning something, explaining something, saying something, all up here. The subjunctives are the same tense. They're not different. It's either imperfect or pluperfect right now. We'll get into the present tense subjunctives in a little bit and perfect tense in a little bit. So it's the infinitive plus your personal endings of most must isn't. So eset with the T, you know, amarem, it's the infinitives, uh, when you rest, whatever. It's the same. Pluperfects are that third principal part plus I S S E plus whatever ending we want. The most must isn't. Whatever. Capicent we had. Or capicent. So those are indirect questions. Luckily for us, we already know how like subjunctive verbs look like. It's now gonna be a matter of hey, what kind of subjunctive clause is this? Is this gonna be a cum clause? So does it have the word cum? Or is it gonna be an indirect question? Does it have a question word? And is there a word that's a head verb? So like Sextus, this is a name, Skiebot, oh, was knowing, or knew, quiz, question word, who, 
puerum accusative who boy killed who killed the boy uh example you know asked was wanting wanted to know understood was not knowing explaining understanding asking all of those are head verbs and they have those question words you need to know those question words for sure but those are in their questions pretty simple wale te take care y'all we'll come back to this on friday and we're going to be kind of reviewing these a little bit too bye